So I'm here at the uh, European Society of Cardiology Heart Failure and happy to present as part of the COMPASS team the uh, sub-analysis of the COMPASS Heart Failure uh, sub-study. Specifically, as we know, uh, COMPASS was a large multi-center, multinational trial which found that use of rivaroxaban, 2.5 milligrams twice a day, plus aspirin, was superior to aspirin alone in patients with chronic stable coronary artery disease for major adverse cardiac events, net clinical benefit, as well as mortality. In the sub-study, we looked at patients specifically with a clinical diagnosis of heart failure at baseline to see if they had similar effects. Indeed, what we showed is that according to the hazard ratios, the relative risk ratios were very consistent across the uh, spectrum of whether or not the patients had heart failure or did not have heart failure. There was no significant interaction between those with or without heart failure, although interestingly we did see a significant improvement in absolute risk reduction for those patients with heart failure. Patients with heart failure had an absolute risk reduction of use of rivaroxaban plus aspirin as compared to aspirin of 2.4 percent with a number needed to treat of 42. This in comparison to patients without heart failure with an absolute risk reduction of 0.9 and a number needed to treat of 111. If we looked at the safety effects, that is major bleeding, we saw no significant difference between the patients that were treated uh, with, uh, with heart failure, although there were increases in patients treated with rivaroxaban plus aspirin as opposed to aspirin. Looking at the net clinical benefit, which weighed the risks and the benefits, the risk of major adverse cardiovascular events and serious bleeding, we showed that rivaroxaban plus aspirin did have a net clinical benefit very similar to what we had seen with the overall trial, but the absolute risk reduction was again reduced in patients with heart failure as compared to those without heart failure. So in conclusion, we see that the patients with heart failure actually had an increase in overall risk as opposed to those without heart failure, but a very consistent finding with the use of rivaroxaban plus aspirin as compared to aspirin. We'll be very interested to see with further analyses how the patients compare with uh, preserved ejection fraction versus reduced ejection fraction. Um, and also this will be a nice setup for the upcoming Commander HF trial, which will look specifically at patients with reduced ejection fractions and coronary artery disease with the use of low-dose rivaroxaban plus aspirin. Thank you.